So I was going to do a video on me doing butterfly in uh, the hyper pool locally, but for various reasons that didn't go through. There were some concerns about, well, some things I won't get into, and then it just didn't look that great anyways. I am learning butterfly, but I wasn't able to get, I wasn't able to post that this weekend as much as I wanted to. Maybe in a year I'll try it again and see if I can't go through the right channels and things like that. But um, anyway, so that's out. And I was like really super busy with homework this weekend. So um, I was really busy with homework this weekend. I went to a Farmington Cardinals football game to see one of my daughters. And that, and then after that, I ran like 21 miles the next day. So I'm going to try to do this real quick. My brakes are like really needing some, um, they need to be tightened because when I go down hills, they don't, they don't hold. And that's like seriously dangerous, particularly on the University of Arkansas campus. I'm also a BA of music student. I have a full-time job there, but they let me take classes. Um, they pay a lot of the tuition, but anyways, yeah, this is duct tape. So some of those hills coming down, particularly the one coming down from music down to ADSB, is pretty nasty. So I need to make sure that these brakes are tight. Now, if you look, the pads are actually pretty worn. They're pretty close to the wear line, but I got a little bit more life in there. I don't know if you can see that too well. There's actually a line in there and I don't know if you can see the line. But it shows when it's time to replace the brakes but there's still a little bit there because you can see those grooves there that's left so you can look on better v-brake tutorials than mine but i just i want to show you how i wind up doing this because it's not quite exactly the same way as the way everybody else does it it is it is very similar to some of the other tutorials but because I don't know whether it's my setup or whatever, but I have to do things just slightly different. So I'm gonna scroll down here and try to keep this quick because I don't have a whole lot of time to edit because I'm way behind on my schoolwork. I got a lot of reading to do. I did one of my assignments, I just finished it. But you need this, the X key, of course. So you need to have, you can get these at Walmart. Um, you need to put these in your, you need to carry these on your bike at all times. I guess I was out or something, but. This is the, I think this is the big one that you're gonna need for most things. And it seems to fit. It looks like it's not quite the right side. I think I need the black one actually, but this is close enough. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is just loosen that up. Hopefully, yeah, it's loosened now. Oh, wow. Now, what they recommend here is that while this little nipple is lined up Ah, crud. I'm going to have to pull this out. All this nipple, little nipple is lined up about like that. Like that. Then that's when you tighten the brake. So, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to come back and get the head mount. Okay I, okay, I decided to not use the head mount, and I hope you can see this, but the little nipple right here, this nipple is lined up with the edge of this bracket here, okay? Just on the edge, you'd want, you want about that much gap, okay? And then, okay, these things, these, these little wings have to be these little springs have to be behind the notches. But anyways, you pull that that tight, and as you can see, some of my stuff is worn out. Okay, now it slipped through. You don't want that. You don't want that to slip through. We unscrew this. Put that down. We want it to be lined up. Okay, just barely. Now, I have to always use my knee to push this in to hold that in, there, there. And they don't show that on the normal videos, but, okay, I think I got it. So now both of these have to be pretty tight. What is all this about? This shouldn't be here. That's really annoying. 
I'm not sure what this this is totally unnecessary whatever that is well I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on the plastic anyway don't care there now I'm tightening it down oh I almost poked myself and by the way you should probably wear like latex gloves when you do this notice how this is frayed you shouldn't let this go that far and by the way, I wouldn't recommend tightening this down on the plastic necessarily because I don't know what the consequences of that are. I wouldn't want you to crash or anything. Now, when I take this, notice how this lines up right here like this. Now I'm going to push that down and it's going to snap in. It's going to create a little bit of slack here. You just push this into here. There, see? And it created a little bit of slack. Now, if I move the wheel, there should be a little bit of, see it rolls pretty well. There is, because I'm not an expert at this and I'm not like a bike mechanic, there is a little bit of catch, but not a whole lot. But the good news is, is now when I pull this brake, it's gonna, yeah, the bike does not move anymore. So that's, that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. And so I would repeat the same process for the brake in the back. Now, if you want it done perfectly, you can take it into a bike shop. So now I'm gonna try to repeat this for the back over here, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. So I'm gonna have to flip the bike around. See if I can flip the bike around real quick without wasting a bunch of time. We don't wanna waste too much time because then you wind up getting into like edit land and you have to do all kinds of edits. And it takes forever because you don't want a bunch of garbage on there. That's what I was running into with the thing with the butterfly deal is I actually, well, well, sometimes when you go through editing, you realize that your content is not necessarily what you want it to be. So this is gonna be a lot harder to see, but it's the same process back here. We got that right there. We're gonna loosen that and then see how that comes all the way through. We're gonna make, we're gonna, we're gonna line it up to the very edge and then we're gonna re-tighten. So I probably need to get the hat, but, um, so first thing I'm gonna do, and I can't really see here, right here, there, that bag, that pack is in the way to some extent. First thing we're gonna do is the obvious, we're gonna loosen this. Just make sure you get your brakes nice and tight. Make sure you do both of them. Cause if one of them wax out, at least you'll have at least one way to stop. And when you're stopping, try not to be too overly reliant on the front brake because if you slam on it like super hard when you're going like really fast, you can flip over the handlebars. But um, anyway, so now, I don't know if you can see it. Hope I hope that gets the angle there. I don't know, I can't tell. We need to line the nipple up with the edge of the bracket. Okay, this is a... We need to line this nipple up with the edge of the bracket, okay? And then when the brakes are like fully closed or fully tightened, then we'll screw this down. Okay, so, and again, I'm gonna wind up having to use my knee to do this. Hopefully you'll be able to see what in the world I'm doing. And, and, and I have quite a bit more on the brakes here. And one of the reasons that there's some uneven wear there, I don't know if you can see that. That's because I didn't put the brakes on quite right. Cause I get, I get paranoid about raising the brakes too high. Cause if you raise them, when you install them, when you raise them too high, when you install them, you can rub up against the, the, the tire and that's not good. Um, so I tend to put them in a little low and it generates a little bit of uneven brake wear. But that doesn't, that's not a problem when you just need to do a quick adjustment. Uh, that's only a problem if you need to replace the pads, which because my brakes don't always wear evenly, I have to replace the pads more often. But that's just, and this, bag is in the way okay there we go okay nope 
I'm gonna get this there. I got the nipple lined up. Whoa. Has to be just on the edge, got it. Okay, so my knee is holding the brakes in place and I'm gonna try to screw this down before I... I know this is kinda like hacky, but it's what works for me, man. Screw this down. Okay, I think I got it tight enough to where I can, I can let go. I like to make it a little tighter though, just in case, because like if I pull too hard on the brakes, I don't want it to come loose on me. There we go. I think that's tight. Okay. All right. So now, as you can see, we still have, even though the brakes are engaged on both sides, and we still have the the nipples not it's not through the the bracket so the the trick then and you'll see this on gtn your trick in is, is to slide this back in through that there slid through okay and if you get it engaged properly it won't come out you have to have that engaged properly let's that just be clear the nipple must be through here for the brake to work but when you're making adjustments you should line it up to the edge of it and then when you're done slide it through so if you can see when i jiggle this it won't come out now but if it was over there it would come out okay if it was over lined up to the edge it would be coming out but now it's not it's engaged fine okay so now this gives me the slack and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if i have excessive rolling resistance which i hope i don't because i don't want to do this again so can i move the bicycle Yes, fairly well. It's rolling pretty good. This is one of the better brake adjustments for me. I'm, I'm fortunate today. So, and again, I don't endorse for, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not associated with Farmington Vans. I just have a child that's in Farmington Van and uh, Farmington, Arkansas Band. I encourage you to come see them, watch their football games to donate. And uh, I've also had another child that was formerly in Farmington Band, and we got another one that may be in, that is in Farmington Choir now, but she'll probably not decide not to get in the band. So now we test the rear brake, which is the right lever, I think. Yes. Okay. So we move it. Oh yeah, it's it's nice and tight, and I don't have excessive rolling resistance. Okay. But now here's the here's the amazing part. If you go and you pull both of these turkeys at the same time, you're like not going anywhere, man. So you got plenty of stopping power. And I, I don't know what it is, but I guess because, I guess it's because of the way I went and did this drop bar conversion. This used to be a mountain bike and they told me not to do this, but because I converted this to drop bars, apparently it messed up the, the pull ratio and the mechanics said don't ever do that. And so I have to adjust my brakes more frequently. But, and I do need to duct tape that down better because this is actually, this is broke. And I haven't found a replacement bar for it, but that's another story. So, um, yeah, I have to adjust my brakes more frequently than the average bear, I guess it is. But as I was saying, um, yeah, I encourage you to support Farmington Bands, even though I'm just a parent. And... Um, I'd love you to come see my kids or everybody else's Farmington kids. And uh, that's about all I have to say about that. These, these brakes seem to be installed correctly. Oh, one more thing. If you get it to where it's like just a little tight, but not like real, real, real tight. I mean, I mean, if you want to get like really, really hardcore, you can flip your bike over and do a test. Of course, everything's going to fall out when I do this. You can do this. And if you get like a whole lot of resistance there, you can try to tweak it and resist it to adjust it. But as long as the bike is rolling on the ground, a lot of that will see that's plenty. That's perfect for me. It's not, I mean, it's not, if you're racing, it's not a good thing, but if you're, you're commuting, it's fine. But as long as you could at least move the bike with the brakes disengaged, you're going to be in pretty good shape because as you ride it a little bit, it's gonna wear on those brake pads a little bit in your rims. And I know that's not good for your rims or your brake pads, but it's just a minuscule amount. 
it will actually adjust the brakes out a little bit. So if you get it a little too tight, that's fine. If you get it super too tight, you're like, forget it. You know, you're gonna be in a mess. But this is why you should wear gloves when you do this because, and when you're inflating your tires, I don't know if you can see that. So latex gloves are probably best. If, if not, you can use nitrile. But if you use like big heavy gloves, then you won't be able to feel anything. There you go.